Here with head coach Kyle Recklitz after a 65-44 win uh, over Cleveland State. Coach now moved to 10-0. You talk about a complete game. This has to be it. Yeah, I actually, this is one of our most impressive games. I, I know that we still had 23 turnovers, and that's something that we're going to have nightmares about, how many turnovers we had um, over this weekend. But um, the composure that we played with, especially in that first half, the balance that we played with was incredible. Um, and that was started by Bree Sierra. I mean, she just made some incredible passes at the beginning of that game. She really showed senior leadership. Um, and I just thought she, I thought our entire team played with so much heart, um, both from an offensive and defensive perspective today. And then moving right into Megan Walstead, I mean, you can't say enough about her. That's her fourth straight double-double today. Ended with uh, 28 points, a new career high, um, added 12 rebounds, and then matched a career high with four blocks. I mean, both ends of the court, she was dominating. You know, she's just one of those players that, you know, even even when it, you look up at the scoreboard, you're like, what? How many points did she have? Like, it's just like those quiet points sometimes. I mean, but our team is so selfless, and they did such a great job of finding her. Um, her touch is incredible around the rim. I thought today in particular she was, like, more balanced, taking her time a little bit more. Um, but, but we did a great job of finding her. We made her some incredible passes today. Um, Brandy Bisping made some great passes. Emma Whitmerhouse made her some great passes. Bree, like we talked about. I mean, I think everybody fed her at least once or twice during this game. Um, and she just did a great job of, of owning it. And, and to see how many rebounds she gets, she just has this natural ability to go up and get boards, and her timing is spectacular. So um, I'm very happy to have her on our team. <laughs> and then that team defense, uh, I mean, especially in the first half, 20 points allowed. I mean, you, you look at Mariah White, who's uh, one of the best scorers, uh, if not the best scorer in, in the league, um, and she was held to three for 16 from the floor. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm just a lot of credit to her. I mean, she is an incredible player. Uh, she's a first-team all-conference player in my book. All, I know I'll be voting for her at the end of the year um, for that. Um, we honestly start just uh, the scout for today was to get the ball out of our hands, make other people have to be the reason why they beat us if they do beat us. We were running double teams at her. We were flipping into zones uh, when she had the ball in ISO situations. We were trying anything to have to make her pass. She still got a number of baskets on us down the stretch. Um, she started finding some people, and so we had to we had to kind of play her a little bit more one on one. But um, I thought our rotations were excellent. I thought our hustle was excellent. Um, I thought you know Cleveland State really did a great job of of competing on the boards with us this game from a physical standpoint, uh, and it really challenged us, which is something that we needed actually, because um, it'll give us some stuff to work on, how to push back. Um, but I was I was really proud of our defensive effort. I mean, to only allow 20 points and a half against a team that can really score is a, is a really incredible feat. So now, like I mentioned, 10-0 in conference, um, but still a lot of a lot of play left. What's the message moving forward with your team? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it, it's the same to be honest with you. I mean, we're we don't get excited about winning like we like some teams would. Right now, it's it's a business trip. You know, like uh, we just we knocked off another team twice, you know, and all, all we're thinking about right now is that we're zero and zero and we're going into this next weekend. Um, we're going to be playing a very good team in IUPUI. Um, I think our team knows that. I think that they're excited for that opportunity to play it, especially, I mean, even on the road, we're just excited about the opportunity to play another team. Um, so we're going to try to stay healthy this week so that we can make sure we, we get the games and, uh, and our staff has done an incredible job with scouting. Uh, and so I know we'll put together a really great scouting report and, uh, and our team will be ready by the time we have to tip off on Friday. All right, Coach. Once again, congratulations on the win. Thank you.